everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are filming a full matte tutorial. The lipstick is matte, the foundation is matte, there ain't no highlighter in this. It's all been done through the trickery of powder and highlight. So I'm actually going to do quite a lot of put, I actually think I need to put a bit of tan on, I'm a wee bit mismatched. I thought, I done my tan last night and it was one of those tans that, um, you can wash off after an hour and I've washed it off too early I think and it's not really gave me the right colour so I'll put a wee bit more self tan on before I take my pictures. But today we're going to do like a trick of the light contour and highlight. I actually really like how this has turned out. The only thing is, is I'm very dry so to use that amount of powder it's kind of like we're pushing powder on top of all my problems but to be honest sometimes I think when I put too much highlighted on it draws attention to how much um how much dryness I have like you'll see it under my eyes on the the close-ups now I'm also going to contour and highlight in a way that I usually wouldn't do usually I round my contour into my cheeks to make this fullness lift but everything I'm doing in this video is very angular because I'm doing angular eyes angular powder contour uh, angular powder baking which is steps that I just don't really use anymore but for the purpose of going back to an all matte 90s vibe I thought it would be fun to dig out a few of those techniques again and try something a bit different. I feel I feel like I always shoot myself in the foot because I'm so quick to be like I don't like doing that and then actually I've went back to quite a few old techniques like I'm even carving out underneath my brows again who am I? So um, let's uh, jump into the video. It's kind of weird seeing myself with no highlighter on, but you know what guys, I'm kind of digging it. I actually think I might leave the highlighter off. I'm going to have Zoom drinks later on, but I think I actually just might ditch highlighter altogether today because we've created this natural highlight with uh, the matte. It's like a powder highlight. Anyway, without further ado, let's get jumped in and see how I create this all matte 90s vibe look. So honestly for me at the moment, and especially for this tutorial because matte is the theme, I've really went back to all nighter foundation. I think with my skin so problematic, which it has been for such a long time, I need something full and matte to kind of take any shimmer and shine off my problem areas. So I've been using this quite a lot. Of course prepping my base really well. I'm still stuck on this NARS Soft Matte Concealer, guys. I absolutely adore it. I just think it's one of the best concealers I've used in so long, and I should have believed the hype a lot sooner. I'm also using the Beauty Bay Beached Bronzer. Everything I'm doing here is matte. Now, this is my Fenty Pro Filter Powder, so what I'm doing is I'm carving out the cheekbones, and it's almost like a chin strap that I've created. That whole area is going to be blanked out and powdered down that's where I want the light to be. Then I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes with excess powder and almost take it down the sides of my nose, right up and into my temples as well, the same way I would take powder highlighter. The reason for that is to catch anything from the smoky eye, but also to give this beautiful face triangle of light. This is a trick that for my face shape, which is inverted triangle, works really well. Now I done my brows off camera because they've not changed but I'm just carving out underneath with the soft matte concealer from NARS. As I said to you guys this has just been my favourite for such a long time now. I'm so sold on this. And this is my Crown uh, 150 brush. Everyone asks me about this brush. It's such an amazing brush for doing any like really really strong carving work. I'm going down with a all matte Morphe palette. This is the 12NB I think. I'm not sure. I'll link it below. But what I'm doing here is like the ultimate fox eye. So I really want it lifted at the edges. And actually fox eye is just a term for making your eye shape more angular. I have a hooded eye. So extending the ends of it and making that real kind of burgundy wing moment is perfect for somebody with my eye shape. And also I've got very dry eyes, especially in the inner corner. So the, emphasizing the outer corner was always going to be better for me when my eyes are particularly bad. I love this look. It just, everything is so lifted and so snatched. Then I'm just using like a real kind of matte neutral on the lid and blowing it all out. So you see I stamped on that shape first and now I'm really working on blowing it out. All the shadows in this Morphe palette are kind of unnamed as you know with Morphe shadows but just look at the pigment that I'm getting. I think that eyeshadow palette is like a tenor. 
so good. Now I'm still on that little trick of using my Blackout Iconic Shadow from UD as my liner and because it's such a matte shadow it really played in perfectly with the theme of this look. You can see just how amazingly black I get the eyeshadow to go with the setting spray. It's almost like a cake liner. If you haven't seen me doing this before I think I need to do a full tutorial on just this hack because it's perfect if you've got drier eyes. Then we are smoking out the lower lash line with my Zero 24-7 Glide On Pencil and just a little bit of that burgundy shadow from the palette. The lashes that I'm using today are still the Lash Dupe Double Espresso. I've used them in my past few videos. I've cut them down a little bit. Then it's time to sweep away the powder. At this point the powder had been on for about half an hour to 40 minutes I'd say. So as you can see as I take it away the highlighted areas really stand out from where I had applied the beached bronzer and honestly I loved it guys I just didn't find the need to put a highlighter on top of it you could put the tiniest amount if you want but I just loved how matte and full coverage I always think about Ariana Grande's makeup she's always so matte and full coverage and I always love that look then I'm just blending my sh uh, lashes into the falsies with my perversion mascara and for the 90s matte lip I took the Jamie Genevieve Vive Cosmetics Lip Liner. This is called Rumor, I think. Uh, I'll link it below. It's the darkest one she does. And then my Stark Naked Urban Decay Lipstick. This was like the perfect 90s combo. Look at it when it's smacked together. And I ombre it with a little Charles Fox liner brush. Look at that lip. It's like my favourite combo ever. I love that Vive liner. Then to set it down, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter in the style Ultra Matte to really finish the matte look. Guys, I loved this. This is like my go-to makeup look. I love how matte it is. love how flawless. Thanks for watching.